Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about if else statement in python programming so guys in computer programming we use the if statement to run a block of code only when a certain condition is met so for example as you can see assigning grades that is a b c based on the marks obtained by a student so basically over here in this case we will be using the if condition now what can be the conditions we can say that if the percentage of the student is above 90% so assign grade a in the same way if the percentage is above 75% then assign grade b and if the percentage is above 65% but less than 75% then assign grade c so during such conditions we have to use the if else statement over here now similarly in python there are three forms of if else statement so we are going to check all these forms of statements one at a time with the help of examples the first part is the if statement in which case we are going to simply have the if statement over here along with the condition and the block of code the next form will be if else statement in which case we will also have the else block over here and the third form of the if else statement will be first we will be having the if statement and then followed by the elif statement in which case we have another condition over here and then finally we have the else statement over here so let us check all this with the help of examples in the vs code so over here let's say we have the value of x it is equal to 10 now what we have to do is we have to provide the if condition over here so as you can see when we type if keyword over here vs code is suggesting us that we can use this if keyword Word. so we are going to use this and then we are supposed to have some condition so we can say x greater than 5 over here so guys this is one of the comparison operators that we have already seen previously it will check whether this left hand side variable is it greater than the value that is present on the right hand side so guys this is one of the conditions that we are going to check and then followed by a colon over here so guys this is the format in which we provide the if condition and if this condition that is whether x is greater than 5 if it is true then we want to come inside this and there will be the block of code we need to have certain statements over here so we will say print and we can simply put the string that is x is greater than 5 over here since that is the condition that we have checked so this is the very simple code that we can have with the if condition over here let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see it is displaying x is greater than 5 now guys this is just one statement that we have provided inside the if condition we can also have multiple lines of code inside this block over here after the if condition so we simply have to press enter and provide the another print statement and let's say we will simply put we have checked x so we have a very general statement over here that is we have checked x over here let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see x is greater than 5 this thing is getting printed and this statement that is we have checked x is also getting printed so all the lines of code that is present inside the block after this condition that we have provided in the if statement will be executed only when this condition that is x greater than 5 is true now what if this condition is not true so let's say i provide x less than 5 over here in which case this condition will become false so what will happen is the control flow will not go inside this block and it will not print these statements over here let us verify this i will just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see nothing is getting printed over here that's because these lines of code are not getting executed because this condition was false now how do we verify that we have to come out of this block so basically we have indented this code that is there are some space characters over here in this line that is why these lines of code over here are treated to be present inside the block after this condition we have to come out of that block over here so we simply press enter and then we press backspace so that the cursor is aligned to this if condition over here now we can simply provide another print statement and i will simply say outside if statement so over here we say outside if statement now guys this line of code it will confirm that the control flow has come out of the if block over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting outside if statement that's because x less than 5 condition was false and that is why 
these two lines of code were not printed and then the control flow came out of the if condition and then this line that is outside if statement was printed. So guys it is very important that you follow this indentation as far as your python programs are concerned. You might get incorrect output if you don't follow such indentations properly. Now let us move to another form of if statement. So over here the second form is we provide the else part as well. So the first part we have already seen that is using the if statement. Let us now use the else statement as well. So over here what we will do is first of all we will check whether x is greater than 5 and then we will print that is x is greater than 5 over here. Now what if x is not greater than 5 that means it is less than or equal to 5. So we have to define the else part over here. So first of all we have to remove this indentation part. So I'll just press on backspace and then we provide the else keyword. As you can see VS code is suggesting us this else keyword over here. We will use this and then followed by colon and then we can go inside this block of code and similarly we will have another print statement. In this case we will say x is not greater than 5. So we are checking whether x is greater than 5 and we will say x is greater than 5 if this condition is true and if this is not true then it will go in the else part and it will say x is not greater than 5. And after this part of code gets executed, the control flow will come over here and it will print this statement that is outside if statement over here. So let me just save this file and try running this code now. So as you can see it says x is greater than 5. So over here since the value of x it is 10, it is printing x is greater than 5. After this x greater than 5 condition is true. And then after that we are getting outside if statement. So the control flow did not go inside this else part. That's because it went inside this if part and this line of code was executed. So guys the control flow can only go inside one block of code. If this condition is true then it will come out. It will not go inside the else part and if this condition becomes false then it will go over here in the else part and execute that line of code. So let us check that second scenario now. What if x is not greater than 5? So we will change the value of x and let us say the x values is 2 now. So in this case is x greater than 5? No in this case. So this line of code that is x is not greater than 5 should get printed. Let me just save this file and try running this code now. So as you can see x is not greater than 5 this line of code is getting printed that's because the condition was false and the control flow came in the else part and it executed this line of code. After this outside if statement got printed over here as you can see on the console. So guys this is one of the examples of the if else statement that we can use. Guys there will be many instances where you will be using this if else statement in your actual programs. So make sure that you practice on your own. Now after this let us see another part that is we have the elif as well. So guys let us take this example over here that is of grading system. So if the percentage is greater than 90 we have to assign the grade that is A. If the percentage is greater than 75 but less than 90 then we will say the grade is B. And if the percentage is greater than 65 but less than 75 then we have to put the grade as C. So guys let us move to the code over here. Let us clear all these lines of code and over here we will simply have the percentage variable and let's say we have 95 as the percentage initially and then we have another variable that is grade. Let's say it is equal to D initially. So we have this character that is D over here. Now what we have to do is we have to provide the if condition and the first condition is whether the percentage is above 90. So over here we will say inside the if condition first of all whether this percentage is it above 90 over here. So we will simply have percentage greater than 90 and if this is true then we have to provide colon and then we have to make the value of this grade as A. So grade it is equal to A over here inside the single quotes. Now we have another condition that is if the percentage is greater than 75 but if it is less than or equal to 90 then it should be B. So what we have to do is we can use the elif part over here. So we have elif keyword. So as you can see VS code is suggesting us this elif keyword over here followed by we have to check whether this percentage again is it greater than 75. So over here if it is greater than 75 then we have to come in this block of code and then after this again we have to assign the value to this grade variable and this time the value will be B over here. So we will assign the value to grade as B and then after this we will again have the elif part over here and we need to check whether the percentage is greater than 65 or not and then in that case we have to provide C. So over here we will say elif percentage it is 
greater than 65 in this case and then if this is true then we have to provide the grade value as c over here and then guys we can also have the else part over here and we can simply provide that the grade in the else part it can be d over here in case the percentage is less than 65 so we can have grade as d and then finally we will have the print statement over here so we have the print function and we will simply provide the grade value so the grade is and then we have comma and then the grade variable over here so guys over here as you can see initially the percentage is 95 so it should go inside the first if statement so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting some error over here at the else part so over here we have forgot to provide the colon after the else part so it is very important that we provide the colon after any of these keywords that we have used and the conditions that we have used so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see the grade is A, that's because the percentage value is 95 and in this case percentage is greater than 90 and that is why the grade is being assigned as the value as A. Now what if the percentage value is not greater than 90? So let's say we provide the percentage value as 85. So in this case the control flow will come over here, it will check whether percentage greater than 90. No in this case, then it will go inside the elif part. So is percentage greater than 75? Yes, in this case, so this line of code that is grade equal to B will get executed and then the control flow will come directly out of the if else statement and it will print the grade over here. Let me just save this file and try running this code now. So as you can see the grade is being assigned the value as B. So grade is B is getting printed over here. Similarly, let's say we provide the percentage value as 70. So this time this condition that is percentage greater than 65 will get executed because the previous conditions are already false in this case. So let me just save this file and try running this code now. So grade must be C. So as you can see the grade is C over here. And what if the percentage is less than 65? So let's say we provide the percentage as 60. So finally the else part that is grade equal to t will get executed so let me just save this file and try running this code now so now in this case the grade is d so in this way we can easily use the if else statement we can also use the elif keyword in order to check the intermediate conditions over here so guys we are going to use a lot of if else statement in our python programs as well please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is for loop in python programming so stay tuned